Hey guys, I'm Avesh. This is the part 10 of the Mern stack tutorial. In the previous session, we created a simple get API using Express.js and we have defined routes in the app.js file. In this session, we will segregate the routes to a different file. Let's now switch to the Visual Studio and get going. We cannot have the APIs in one single file such as app.js. Hence, it is always recommended to segregate the APIs into different routes and controllers. We'll be discussing about the controllers in the later sessions. For now, let me create a folder here. Choose the folder option, new folder, and I'm going to define it as routes. Within the routes, since we are calling it as home API. So I'm going to create a new file either by right clicking and selecting a new file or we have an option to add a new file under this folder. So I'm going to call this as home.js. Within the home.js we're going to create constant express equal to require express so that we can import the express. Once this is done we need to create a router out of express. So I'm going to create constant router equal to express dot router. Now once we create a router, let me move the other code from the app.js in a moment. Over here, I'm going to say router dot get and similar to what we have done in the home page, we're going to say slash and then we are going to pass in the request and response comma next. We'll discuss about the next later, but right now we'll have request and response and we're going to return the response similar to what we have here. Copy this one and paste it in the home.js. Similarly, we can create router.post, put and delete operations. Let me copy and paste them to make it quick. Once we create the router, we need to export this module. In Express.js, we call this as a module and I'm going to say, I'm going to export this module by using keyword module.exports equal to our router, which means we are exporting the router that we have defined. Now the exporter router can be consumed in the app.js file. Now let me switch back to the app.js file. Over here, I'm going to declare that home router. I'm going to declare a variable and say require dot slash. Look at that. We now have an option to choose routes. Within the routes, I'm going to use home. Instead of writing this entire lines of code from 5 to 17, since we have segregated that into home router, we are going to use it. So the use is a keyword in Express.js. How do we do that? We say we already have an app, which is our Express app. I'm going to say app.use. I'm going to use this as, I'm going to copy this home slash v1 here, comma, which is nothing but our home router. I will go ahead and comment this entire lines of code. In the next session, I'm going to delete this code as well once we introduce the controllers. Now we have a very simple statement called app.use, home v1 and home router. So we can have n number of routers under the routes folder and we can use those routers using the keyword app.use. Now let me run this application and show you that there is no deviation in the output at all after segregating the code. Let me open the terminal window and start the app.js using node app.js command. Now the app is listening at localhost. I may open the postman and invoke the same API that we have been using. Let me click on send command. Look at that. We have the same output. Even though we have segregated the router, we are not having any issues. Creating a route file is very simple in Express.js. Using the use command, it is easy to incorporate the exported router. With this, we have successfully understood the routes in Express.js. In the next session, we will focus on the controllers. Till then, thank you for listening and have a great day.